Today is Thursday, September 12, 2024. It's 8.08 a.m. Market opens at 9.30 Eastern, so we've got almost an hour and a half. So the levels are kind of spread out this morning. You notice there's kind of a cluster of levels. You know how I like to create a zone with these dash lines, and that's what that is, but there are some other intermediate levels in the middle because it's kind of you know spread out between 560.14 and 561.75. So anywhere in the middle is kind of important. Um, they're really all mathematically derived, and I just want to include them all. So they're above all the moving averages pretty much. Like where they're at now, 556 or so in the pre-market, they are fighting just the last couple moving averages on some you know kind of significant time frames. So if they get above that, there probably will be some type of resistance they're going to hit at some point. This is right in the middle of the range that they were in for weeks before they dropped below last week. Question is, are they going to meet some resistance here or higher? This is pretty much the all, near the all-time highs. And also keep in mind that next week we have the FOMC meeting that culminates on Wednesday. And there will be some interest rate decisions coming out of that that the market may or may not like. So by the time that gets here, they could be fighting the all-time highs or they can meet enough resistance to fall back. Like I said in last night's video, they're kind of in sort of a middle of a, sort of a wishy-washy area. I don't know if that's the best way to describe this or not, but that's the way I see it. But I do trust these levels, and if the market is acting more or less normal, then they're going to provide some type of support and or resistance when the price hits these levels, or if price hits these levels. So we'll come back to this chart after the market closes this afternoon or evening, talk about any trades that may have been triggered in the E-minis based on these levels of support and resistance. Catch you on the other side. We had a decent little climb today. The spiders stopped just shy of this kind of convergence of a lot of levels, this cluster of levels that I had, and stalled out. So that could mean something we'll talk about later, but where was the trade today? Obviously, this one level at 554.34 was respected, and after 15 minutes had elapsed, they were above the level. Now, you know, they did come down into it early on. They've been doing this a lot lately. I've noticed where, like, right after the market opens, one of the levels I have is hit pretty soon, you know, before the 15-minute mark, and a trade would have worked right there. But just treating this like a process, if you jumped in at a long trade after that 15-minute mark, so 945 was here, they were above, then it looked like they were going to mess you up. It was a kind of a fake out. I had a pretty good feeling the way they were consolidating here and a few other things that I wanted to be on the long side, just gave it some time. I took this trade, even wrote it up a little bit more. We'll, we will look at that later. But just want to point a few things out. So obviously the level is important. Once they got above it, they bounced a few times. And I only want to take one long trade at a level, but I'm willing to take a short trade perhaps later. Um, but I just want to point out a few other things. I mean, they never got below this for a short trade. This doesn't count because I was in the trade the entire time, if that makes sense. But so let's put some levels on here. So they came up and couldn't get above this area here. They did the same thing here. Like they were rejected from this area. So you can watch this happen. And this kind of is drawing some levels on the board for you. They just consolidate around this level. They shoot above it. So now you're looking around. So what happens if, so you're, this would have been like, you know, say a short trade that I'm not saying you would have taken it because would you have known this would have dropped? This has stopped me out by the way on, on this little drop down here, whatever caused that. Same thing here. But once they got above this area, if they come back into it later, then this could serve as support. And it did. Now I'm just pointing this out. I didn't take a trade here, but that was a pretty good sign that that would have, could have worked if you chose to take a trade. I didn't do it, but just pointing it out because that's one way to kind of look at the market. But here's what, here's what I did. Here's my trade. So at this point, it's right before my line in the sand, about a minute or so. I'll start playing this. So I bought two pretty much at this level. I did adjust it a little bit. And you'll see me in the trade, and this is right when they fell out of bed and looked like they were going to, uh, you know, go lower perhaps. But it doesn't look, I mean, it kind of looks drastic here. And yes, it's, you know, have to withstand some pain, but it is a it is a process. So I'm looking for closes under this level. It did not happen. Certain thing, a couple of different things I'm looking for. And it's just a matter of time, giving it some time and being patient. And as you know, they, they got above and gave me, you know, the base hit. Well, you don't know that yet, but you'll watch it in a minute. And I want to point out that uh, there was something going on with my computer this morning during this trade. It was pretty glitchy. I was happy to see them finally rebound and, and get me back in the money because I didn't want to jump out. It was something like I was getting no reaction with uh, my cursor. It was, a very, it was a very delayed reaction. I mean, I could have just clicked close, clicked the button. It would have worked, but I just gave this some time. And once I got above here, I was safe. So you'll see I took whatever, however many points this is 
for one contract a fair amount of points and then trailed the other contract for an extra 300 and something dollars. So my two contract trade netted me 925 and it didn't take too long. So there were there are no more trades playing by the rules, but other than that one opportunity that I showed you earlier. I'll scrub ahead here. They did pull this up a little bit more. Right there, 325. And that's when it came down and stopped me out. So that was it for me. This recording goes on for a while, but I end up stopping at some point. But there are no more trades because I'm not taking additional long trades once one's already in the bag. So I'm going to take a look at the daily chart and we'll discuss some of the you know, possibilities of what future price action might look like. So at this point, with the climb up today, they are above all the moving averages and all the time frames that I track, at least in the SPY. So that's bullish. There's no way around that. But they're coming up into some potential resistance. I mean, they've got to get ahead. They've got to get above this kind of this high of this breakdown candle, which is roughly 560, 80, something like that. Well, let's get the exact high. The exact high is 560, 81. So it's pretty close. And then, of course, the kind of a breakdown area, not the all-time highs at this point, but this was an important area they couldn't get above. This is essentially the top of that range, 564. They're right in the middle of that range. 564 is the top of the range. 554 is the bottom of this range. They've been in, they were in for a week and a half, two weeks or so. Well, they're in the middle of that. So they've got to get above the breakdown candle here. They've got to get above this area, 564-ish. And now they're approaching and testing the all-time highs, if they can do that. A 565, some change. And there are a few kind of intermediate levels in here that depends on what's going on tomorrow morning in particular could provide some type of interim reaction. Are we looking for a big fall at this point? If they hit this, I don't know. I mean, if you were to draw a trend line, I'll just do that right now from the all time high to the high of this last attempt. It's, it's a very light sloping trend line coming down. So in other words, a lower high and under normal circumstances, they're going to have to fight to get above this area. And I know the bulls want to push this thing up and, and break out for new all-time highs, and that's very possible, but they've got to get past resistance. So that's kind of my take right now on what might happen because we have one more day in the week and then a couple days next week, which under normal circumstances will be kind of slow leading up to the Wednesday FOMC announcement. So we'll find out. I'll have new levels tomorrow morning um, that could be more precise, but at this point I just want to point out that They've broken above some important resistance areas and they've got a little bit more to fight through before they can get out into new all-time highs again. Here is the log playing by the rules. One simple base hit, four points or more if you wanted it, but just giving this some time and they finally pulled up that, that level was support for the rest of the day. And that first hit was the trade of the day if you chose to take it. Mine was kind of the same, but I just wrote it up more. So nine and a quarter points on my two contract trade. That's what I have for today. Like I said, tomorrow morning, another day, last day of the week. Probably not going to trade. I'm actually taking a day off work and need to get a few things done. I just kind of need a break. So I'll make the video in the morning. I'll come up with the levels. I'll send them out to everyone on my list and make a video in the evening, but um, probably won't trade tomorrow. I just kind of need a break. So thanks for watching. Thanks for your support. I appreciate those who are hanging in there and I hope you like this format. I think I'm going to start doing maybe a daily chart at the end of these videos just to show here's what I'm thinking about for tomorrow. I mean, it's not going to be precise. The levels will come out in the morning, but I think it's probably good to share my opinion of what might happen in the near term because, well, why not? Catch you in tomorrow's recap video. Have a great rest of your day.